If you'll remember in a previous episode, we discussed uploading images. However, a lot of times we want to do something with those images other than just display them back. We might do a filter, we might resize or show a thumbnail, crop it, or any other number of things. In this video, we're going to use Django Image Kit to show you how to do those types of things fairly easily. The first thing that we need to do is actually install Django Image Kit. This can be done with a simple pip install. And then you follow that up by adding Image Kit to our installed apps in our settings. One of the great things about Django Image Kit is that you can add a new field to an existing model and you don't need to run a migration to start using it and getting your new images. If we start with our previous profile image model, we have the image field and this is fairly standard. However, we may want to do a thumbnail of the image. So to do this, we just need to define a new thumbnail field and we use Image Kit's image spec field. This is a custom field for models that is built into Django Image Kit. First thing we need to do is we need to set our source and it needs to point to the field on the model that has the original image. And in our case, that's the image field. Since we want to do something to the image, we need to actually give it a processor to modify the image. In this case, it's going to resize the image to 50 pixels by 50 pixels. And then finally, we're going to save it as a PNG and actually reduce the quality to 60. The great thing is we can do another one of these resizes by just adding another field. And in the second one, we're going to use a different processor, but it's still going to resize to 50 by 50. At this point, you're probably wondering about processors. These are the pieces of functionality that actually do the work of modifying the images. And in our case, we're just going to resize the images. Resize to fill is a standard resizing processor, whereas Smart Resize tries to guess the correct place to resize based on entropy of the image. A quick note about the processors is they used to be integrated into Django Image Kit, but were eventually pulled out of the library into its own called PillKit, which Django Image Kit depends on. So if you go looking for the processors, they are in PillKit. There are actually quite a few processors that are available in PillKit, and I really recommend that you check them out, and you can actually take a look at them and how they work. And they make it fairly simple in extending to write your own processors. So now let's move on and actually take a look at all of this working after we quickly edit our template. In the case of this template, we're just going to add some more image HTML tags and the source URLs are going to come from the newly generated images, which we're getting from our model fields. Actually generating images is actually what is happening. Whenever we use the model, it generates an image and stores them on our server and in a cache folder. Now let's actually give all of this a shot and see it working. If we'll go ahead and take a look at an image, we'll see that we have our main image at the top that we uploaded and then we have two resizes. In this case, these are fairly basic enough. We're actually not going to see any quality degradation on the quality change. But as you can see, there are two separate resized images. Let's go ahead and take a look at another one. See more resized. And then another one, as you can see, it's even more resized. So we're definitely getting resized images. So now that we've actually seen all of this, if we'll ls our media folder you can see there's actually a cache folder that was generated inside and now we have more folders inside of there and it's actually it's building out exactly what we have in our other profile data so every time that it generates an image it puts it in the location and it knows how to pull it, that information back out for our generated image Let's say we don't really want to modify the image after it's been uploaded, but we want to do a one-time adjustment and use that. Well, actually, that's very simple to do with the processed image field. What that is, is if you'll imagine combining the file field from Django and the image spec field from Django Image Kit, and you push them together, it's essentially what processed image field is. Basically, we'll set the upload to keyword, just like we would with image field, and then we do the rest with a processor and a format 
just like we would on the image spec field. However, there's really one caveat that we need to note with this. Since it is saving data to the database, just like the image field, we'll actually need to run a sync DB. I've already done this and set up a bunch of views and templates, just like with the profile image, and it is almost literally a copy and paste of that, so we're actually ready to just go ahead and demo this so that we can just show you how it works. So since we're doing this with the background, if we'll go to our background URL for our upload, and then here we're gonna choose an image that's 128 by 128, and if you'll remember from our code, we're going to resize this to 600 by 600. So do that, we'll do a submit, and there we have, we have our 600 by 600. There we go, 600 by 600 and look at the location that it saved it to.